Okay, what you're going to start off with is a slip knot. I'm using regular four, um, number four yarn or um, medium weight acrylic yarn, Red Heart. And I'm going to um, place the slip knot on my hook. And you can make this the first step. You can make it as long or as short as you want it. If you want to start off with a puff stitch flower on your end, you can go ahead and do that. But mine, I've started them off with a chain 25. You can do as many chains as you would like. And then once you get that done, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, once you finish crocheting your chain of 25 or however long you want to make it, you're going to crochet another three additional stitches. One, two, three. Then you're going to go back and insert your hook into the seventh chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you're going to do a slip stitch there. Now from here on, what I do is I bring my working yarn around the top of your chain, beginning chain, and then I start to crochet from here. I pull up the yarn for as big or as small as I want my flower to be, or my puff stitch. And to do the puff stitch, um, you yarn over five, nine times. So that's one, two, yarn over, insert your hook into the circle that you just made, yarn over, that's three loops, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once you've got your nine loops on your hook, you yarn over one more time. That would make it ten, and you pull that out of there completely. And then you slip stitch on that, or single crochet that shut. Then you chain one, and you make another puff stitch. Got two, this is your third one, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then your last yarn over, pull through all nine, and single crochet it shut. Or, um, I think it's a slip stitch, I'm not too sure. But that's how you make your puff stitch. Now on this side I made four puff stitches. So you chain one in between each puff stitch. Remember, this one on your hook counts as a loop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you yarn over, drop a loop through all of those loops, and then shut your stitch. I'm <laughs> saying shut, but it's, it, there's a proper name. And if you want just six petals to this flower, then just do three on this side, and then do three on the other side. I did four on my original one. So when you get that fourth petal done, I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, I've got my fourth petal done. Now from here, I'm going to chain another 25. Okay. 
And after you do your 25, you chain another three additional, and then come back around and insert your hook into the seventh chain again. And you keep doing this for as many flowers that you want on your lariat. However, you, however long you want it, that's how many times you keep going. I did 20 on mine. Um, you can do as many as you'd like. But once you get to your last chain, like you said, this is enough. This is how long I want it. I only want six. I only want 18. However many puff stitches you want. Now remember, you're only going to have half a puff, uh, half a flower on there until you come back around. So when you come back around, this is how I did it. I, I changed, pretend this is my last flower that I want, and I'm chaining 25. I'm at the end of my line, and so now I'm going to come back. So I skip the fr this stitch right here, right next to, let's see if I can get y'all to see that. I'm going to skip that stitch right there, and I'm going to go into the next one, okay? And I'm going to slip stitch into that one. Oops, didn't do it. Okay. Oh, did it wrong. I am going to slip stitch into that second stitch from the hook. All the way out, if I can get this to do it. All right, there it is. And then I'm going to slip stitch all the way back down to my flower. Okay? You just keep slip stitching all the way back down. Don't single crochet, just slip stitch. And this will give you a thinner cording because if you single crochet it, it'll be wider. Now if that's the type of look you're going for, go ahead and do it that way. I didn't want that. I wanted to, it to look like a single layer. So you just keep going, slip stitching across. Almost single crochet there. Okay, almost there. Sorry, I'm stitching off camera. Once you get to your flower, you have this this very first stitch that where you started to chain up. You have two loops on there. Make sure to go through both of them. Yarn over, pull up the loop. Uh oh. And then slip stitch into that one. And from here, I go ahead and slip stitch into this back loop again just to give it some extra security for that stitch for that flower. So once I did that then I chain one and start my puff stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine all through all of mine and secure your puff stitch. Okay? Now you chain one again and make your next puff stitch. If you don't want your puff stitches to be so tall, you make your loops shorter. See, I forgot to count. Two, three, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that tenth one is the last one. Secure your stitch, chain one. Okay, and I'll, you can go ahead and do the third one, but you get the, the the picture. Once you get to this end, I crochet, 
slip stitch into the very top, if I can find it, of the very first puff stitch. So look for that. That's going to look like this. See that stitch right there? That's the first puff stitch. I guess I should have used better, lighter yarn. Slip stitch into that one. That closes off your puff stitch flower. Now if you do it like I did it, where I, there's not a, there's not a three petals on this side, it's going to be popping like this. It's going to look like it's just popping. Okay, like a little dome. But if you give it enough puff stitches, it'll lay flat. And then you start going... I insert my hook into the one, two, third stitch from the chain, you know, from, from that chain and you start slip stitching all the way across to your to your next puff stitch flower. And that's all you do and you continue it to make it as long as you want. Choose different colors, change the flower if you'd like in the same method. Um, exactly the same way except the petals are worked differently. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.